Well, hello and good morning. Welcome back to Subsistence. We're in part two of our camping trip. It is the next day. I'm still freezing my petunias off because it's darn cold. It's minus nine, apparently. And yeah, look at that. My health is down to 71. Ooh, ooh. Okay, let's get back into the... We're going to have to let this warm up a little bit before... Because that little jaunt, I basically went down and... Oh, there's a fiber right there. I just went and picked up a couple of resources and, and my health went dropped by 10 almost. So yeah, this is... Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, so what we're going to do is... Uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to just check out what my inventory... Let's see what my situation is. We got uh, some matches. Ooh, actually... Yeah, I went and picked up some stuff. So let's um let's put these away and you and you. Oh, we've got nails. Nice, nice, nice. And we've got some. I'm basically putting anything unnecessary into the chest here, especially the stuff that has value that I want to take back to the base with me. So that if I get killed by the cougar, uh, then I won't lose half of my uh, all my resources. Now, I think let's just take a quick boo. I think we're in much better shape now than we were. All right. So. Uh, what is the objective? The objective is we're going to go after a second cougar. Um, I'm hoping that one spawned in around here. Uh, I have logged out and logged back in, uh, mostly because, you know, I record an episode, I shut down, I record another episode, I shut down. You, you get the idea. Uh, there is a way, by the way, of, of base... Oh, for crying out loud. Well, I can't do anything about that. <laughs> so you guys, fill your boots. Have fun. Um, but there is a way of like forcing respawns by logging in and logging out and all that. And yeah, not really something that I want to do in a series. Well, not not really want to do period, but at least not in a series, right? That that would be pretty. Yeah, that's no, yeah. Nobody wants to see that um, <laughs> in a, in a series. So let's um, keep some resources. Now I think what we're gonna do though is we're gonna, I don't want to waste too much time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look and see if we can find that cougar. I'm just trying to see if it's over there or is it over on the left. I suspect it's straight down the hill, but we're going to do a bit of a perimeter check first. Yeah, I think we're fine. Okay, so, yeah, I'm still a little cold. Um, let's just go over on the rock here. And see if we could spot our cougar friend. Um... Interesting. I'm not seeing a cougar. Yeah, see, I don't know what the spawn is like. Uh, one, There was one comment that stated that the spawn basically should be about 10 minutes. Uh, now, and then, of course, logging out and then logging back in for the next day, for the next uh, recording session, should also have caused a respawn. But I am not seeing a cougar, which is very interesting. So what we're going to do, we're just going to cruise around a bit and maybe do a bit of looting and say hi to the chicken and then wonder where our cougar is oh did i hear well let's get some loot we'll do a bit of looting see if we can pick up another cougar and then we'll uh, think about heading back to the base uh i'm a little confused about where it might be though is it is it possible well we'll see <laughs> There's our river. Oh, hey, some scrap. Nice. Oh, and a building crate. Nice, nice. Doo, doo, doo. It's nice actually to to get out into a different place and do a little bit of looting. And uh, we used to we used to come here all the time. There was a there was a a base in that river right there in one of our uh, multiplayer uh, series. So that was kind of different. Um, <laughs> and uh, so we used to come up here all the time. And actually, we used that base uh, as a a uh, way of getting cougars. So basically the cougar was usually up here somewhere and then we would uh, pull it down to that little base and we would use the, after we cleared the hunter base, uh, oh, wait a minute, is that a cougar? No. Uh, after we cleared the, the, the hunter base out, then we'd use their base to, to cause you know, uh, their base didn't have, we didn't have to repair it. <laughs> yeah. Hey rabbit, how you doing there? So, Rabbit, have you seen a cougar about any... Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay. So, let's, uh, let's, let's get this party going. Oh, it's only a level one. Oh, you're going to... I need you to stop. All right. Come on. Up you come. 
Do, 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 do. Oh, now am I gonna ask? Are you gonna come right into my base or? There we go. You did. What did you do to my base? What did, did you do damage? Oh, not too much. Nice. So we got a second cougar. That is sweet. Excellent. Let's just grab you. Now, there is a possibility for getting a third cougar. This this spawn is going to take a bit of time in order to redo its thing. Uh, let's see. How am I doing, by the way? I could do with... Uh, I've got some food that I cooked last night. Maybe I should just... Um, just eat that and maybe have a, a nice apple yeah and a berry that would be kind of nice too right got four more sinew so there we go we're up to nine sinew i'm quite happy about that uh let's uh put you in here and oh you know what let's get a bit of you know let's get a bit of tree we'll just top up the uh the wood stove with some uh with some wood that should only be three. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay. We're just doing a little bit of camping. You know, you got to go and gather wood. You have to do... All, you know, there's all, always these little tasks that need to be done. Uh, let's put you all away. And... Oh, we've got biofuel. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And I'm going to have more biofuel in here from the uh, animal fat. So that's kind of nice, too. And I've got... Hmm. Um... What am I going to do with that? I th let's just hang on to that for now. And hopefully we'll be able to get an opportunity to cook those up uh, before too late. Okay, so let's uh, get our weapons all sorted out. And you. I probably... Oh, good, I did. Sometimes if I switch weapons switch weapons too quickly, uh, you uh, basically... Uh, it doesn't reload. doesn't finish the animation. It doesn't reload. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick boo over here and see if we can spot another cougar a little further along the mountain. Now, the cougars spawn... Okay, so this is this is Batman or Cat's Head or... Uh, it's got like about a million different names, this mountain. It's basically Devil's Peak or whatever. And that's all based on the fact that, you know, like Batman, it looks like it's got two... The, the Batman has a little pointy ears. It's the same thing. Same with Devil's Peak because it looks like devil horns. And... Um, the cougars, there's a few periodic spawns uh, basically along the the snow line or just below the snow line as far as I can tell. Um, oh, hello, bear. Yeah, we're not really interested in you. Uh, let's go back up here. We don't get along here very often, so I'm kind of kind of interested to see what's going on we'll take a look around you know um but there is uh they do have this okay this this right here i think there is a cougar spawn around here somewhere uh this hang on let's let's get over here and we'll take another a look at it from a different perspective anything else no okay but i uh this is uh it's got a bunch of different names uh, lion, I think it's called uh, Lion King. Some people call it Lion King because it looks like the, the rock from Lion King. But let's go down and take a closer look at it. And there, I believe, is supposed to be a cougar spawn somewhere through here. But I might be wrong. Oh, let's get that crate. Do, 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 do. And then at a certain point, I do want to... Oh, that's just a wolf. And then uh, basically as you go along, there's more and more spawns along this sort of... Uh, along the snow line here, along the base of the snow line. So it's just a matter of figuring out exactly where they are. And I, I honestly, it's been so long since I've hunted in this area. I know generally where, they, where the spawns are, but I don't know the specifics. But there used to be one. I think, yeah, I'm getting a little too close to the other spawn, which is right over there. Oh, hey. Now, where did that bear go? Oh, he's up there. Okay. All right. Let's just head along. Let's head. Keep keep along, uh, going along the, uh, the snow line. Obviously, there's no uh, cougar down there. Otherwise, we would have hurt him. Or her. Do, 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 do. And then there's a there's another little uh, landmark called um, 
Uh, well, I I call it burnt wolf meat arch. Oh, is that a cougar? No, that's it's just a stinky wolf. Um, but down in, well, okay, burnt wolf wolf meat arch. Where am I? It's a little hard to tell from up here because the perspective is all uh, kind of wrong. But there is another one down. There. Let's let me get down there so that I can see it a little bit better. Um, the landmarks aren't entirely visible. No. Okay. Oof. I always get the feeling that I'm going to slip off the side of the mountain. Yeah, let's get down into the... Uh, to the... Oh, what's that over there? That looks like a... Is that a... Oh, that's a cougar. There we go. There we go. Now, it's a little fur far away from my base, so we're going to have to use a different method for this cougar. And the method is essentially we, we take a shot at it and take a little bit off of its health. And then we run. And we try to, what, we, what you want to do is not get eaten by it, <coughs> which could happen. Uh, <laughs> but you want to, you, want to, you want him to give up the chase at a certain point. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, what I could do, of course, is I could just spin around right now and uh, take it out with the shotgun. Do, 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 do. Uh, boys and girls, uh, if you're going to attempt this, uh, use stamina. Have, have a lot of stamina on you. Okay. I think we've... Uh, there we go. And then, basically, we just do this and repeat this. This is kind of the long-range method. Yeah, you know, I, th I suspect... Oh, there's a bear. Oh, this is going to get a little tricky. It's a bit complicated by the bear. Oh, did we lose the cougar again? I think we did. Yeah, we did. Okay. Oh, don't go off the edge. Don't go off the edge. I don't want to lose my visibility. Okay, and then we're going to hit you up again. And so, yeah, this is a slightly different. It does require a lot of SVT ammo. Uh, but it is fairly safe. I th oh, wait a minute. Where'd the cougar go? Oh, there it is. And now we should all pretty well, depending on the level, like it, it's three bullets is often enough to take it down. But. Uh, we should be able to just can't see how much health is left on it. Actually, we could. What we could do now is we just go in for the, the shotgun, like that. And of course, it's going to slide down the hill. Oh no! <laughs> Skiing cougar. <laughs> All right. Anybody around? We safe? Just making sure before I crouch and. Yet, uh, otherwise... So, that, that's a level three. That's why it took more than the three uh, SVT shots. So, well, actually, I'm not entirely... Oh, nice. All right. So, that's that's three cougars on one... Oh, silly bear. Let's get let's head down here. But that, that's the general, uh, the general plan, the general idea. And, you know, if we head back over there, I don't... It depend I, I'm not sure if this other cougar it may have actually respawned by now. So we can always take a look and see if we can spot that cougar. Maybe we can go for number four. That would be kind of cool, right? Now, of course, not number four today, but number three today. Uh, the fourth one would have been yesterday morning. Okay. Now, before I do it too much more, let's... Yeah, let's have you... I don't have any more vegetables... That's okay. Uh, let's switch over to the SVT. And I am being a bit reckless right now. If a cougar did respawn, I'd basically run headlong right into it if I did this. So, yeah. But I do have my little base. Okay. Let's just get this medicinal plant. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go dump some inventory. 
again so that if I get killed, we don't lose. You know, I've got 13. That's kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Actually, we want to put you in here. And how's the fuel? It's going all, all right. In fact, we could just throw a fuel brick in there. Why not? Just Let's just do that. Instead of fiddling about. Okay. Oh, well, we got a bit of cloth. That's kind of nice. And... Is that a crate? <laughs> I could have probably broken my leg just now. Uh, I don't think that snow has any different impact on you than <laughs> normal ground in this game. I don't think, at least. <laughs> yeah, that was foolish. <laughs> I think what we're going to do... Let's, let's see if we can just... Uh, what time is it? It's midday. Let's see if we can at least maybe get one more cougar into this. And see what uh, see if we can yeah and we'll, in the meantime we'll we'll cook up some meat uh, the liver I think is actually pretty old but let's not worry about that let's put you away you away how's the uh, fat coming along oh you're cooking away good let's grab you let me do a little cooking I don't want to go running off because I'm gonna get you know knowing me I'd get distracted of course and yeah that would be kind of uh, that would be kind of uh, embarrassing. Burn more meat, because uh, that's what I always do. But yeah, isn't that... Uh, it's a lovely day. Isn't that great? Ah, man, I love the view up here. I'm glad I built this. It's actually kind of cool. And that last one that attacked the base didn't do near as much damage as I thought it would. Oh, he, was, he went after this. Okay. Let's uh, grab... No, not you. Uh, grab you, you, and the hammer. And while we're cooking, we'll just do a little bit of uh, little bit of repairs. I should probably, uh, at some point, there we go. That nicely repaired. Put that away. Uh, you can go there. You can go there, and you can go back on my hot bar. And then we check the meat. And oh, nice! It's all cooked. And how am I doing? Um, let's have a tomato. Oh no, we got an apple. Let's have you. Oh, no. There we go. Put that there. And maybe even a drink of water. And then, of course, what we could do, actually, uh, this is like a little tiny normal base, isn't it? Uh, how's my water? It's good. Okay. Let's go get some water down at the, uh, at the river. And maybe, if we're super lucky, we'll bump into a cougar. And we'll be able to get... We'll be able to get another one. Yeah, I'm hearing cougars everywhere now. Do, do, do. They, the cougar has that low, you know, the purry kind of uh, vocalization, and it does tend to uh, <laughs> it does tend to make you sort of stop. And it's it's kind of like it's because it's so low, it can blend into the background a bit. So sometimes you just like you just hear it on the edge. And you're not really sure that's what it was. Oh, another match. I'm getting more matches than I usually do. Okay, let's have the SVT out just in case. Although the shotgun's a better emergency weapon. Yeah, I'm thinking I might... Uh, maybe over here? Might not get lucky on another cougar. Yeah. All right. Well, let's start thinking about getting back. Hey, Rabbit, how you doing? You seriously? Have you not seen a cougar either, Mr. Rabbit? Oh, man. He says no. Oh, and we'll get some more fiber. Do, 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 do. Those, uh, that sort of brown color stuff there, it really does... Uh, it has a very similar tone to it as the cougar, and it just sort of catches your eye and... And makes you think that maybe there's something going on there. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's 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 uh let's. We got we're we're running out of time. I've already spent way more time away from my base than I uh than I had expected. I am a little bit concerned uh, that I don't have enough power to keep the fridge running. So it should be okay, but uh, I'm just not really certain. All right. What are we gonna take back? Well, first of all, let's just throw these in here. There we go. That's good enough. We've got a bit of food with us. We're going to take that so it doesn't spoil. In fact, let's just cook that up. 
uh, on the way so that we have something. And then what we're going to do is let's put that all in here like that. And then that consolidates everything. We're going to take uh, that back with us. The fuel bricks are staying. Um, might as well take the uh, medicinal plant. We don't need it. And then we've got some fiber. Let's take the... Uh, yeah, let's take the fiber. We've got we've got some. Uh, let's leave behind some wood and and building materials, and we'll take that back with us. We'll leave the uh, hammer. This food is is going to stay here. Biofuel comes with us because there's no need for it here. Of course, our uh, hard one. And then these, I'm going to take the matches back for use in my main base. Okay. Um, because we have already like five fire starter kits here, and we're just using. Oh, let's take this and put this and we'll put that down there and let's keep an eye on the nope still not done all right one last check we could always do i i i would be oh you know what you're just standing there i mean <clears throat> i've i've basically given you like so many outs mr rabbit that uh i don't really <laughs> there's no excuse all right Okay, you should be done by now. Yes. Okay. And I'm going to keep Mr. Rabbit on me like that. And there we go. That's pretty well everything I want to leave behind. Just some basic supplies. And then, as I say, we'll do one last... Here. Let's just do one last little cougar check before we head back to the base. I know I'm dilly-dallying, but really, I just... I want it if I had the opportunity. I would like to take it. Yeah. Not seeing anything. Oh, we've got iron. That's kind of nice. Do, 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 do. All right. No more cougars? There he is. Oh, should I? Yes, we're doing it. <laughs> we are, we're going to do it. I'm going to put away um, at least the, the sinew because that is the most valuable thing I've got on me. This right here. Actually, and we'll just, just put uh, the rest of it. I don't, I'm not too too sussed about but uh or concerned about but the cougar yeah we're gonna oh me and my squidgy hands okay come on all right come up you come up you come Oh, it's a level three. I feel a little bad that he got kind of wigged out there at the end. But he did do damage to my base, so I'm not going to feel too bad about it. All right. Let's 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 just grab you. And there we go. Do, 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 do. All right. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Okay, we're out of time. We have to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab you and you. Everything else is staying. You're good. We're going to take the last minute. That's... You know, we're building up ash. All right. Now, I'm going to head out, and we're, I think what I'm going to do, my base is right there. I'm going to take a different route back to my home. We're going to go back. Um, now, the danger, of course, is that uh, I know where the hunters are, but we don't know where rogues are. So the trip back to the, my house, and let's see. Yeah, so it's right about... You know, that looks like, what, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Let's go around uh, Mr. Wolf. Although we we can outrun him anyways. But uh, we're going to go straight down the peninsula, and then we're going to go right across the water. Oh, a bear. Yeah, this is such a... Oh, that's what I was afraid of. Okay, we're cutting through here. Yeah, I know, but you guys are less scary than the rogues. Yeah, definitely rogues. There's rogues over there, so we're going to avoid them. And then I'm going to cut straight down here. Now, the trick is we're going to swim to the far side. And uh, the trick is not to go in the water if you're being chased by anything like, oh, I don't know, a wolf. So we might have to kill this wolf because otherwise we can't safely go in the water. Because the wolves will outrun you in the water. Hey, oh, nice. And I am currently running into a dead end. 
Okay. All right. Uh, let's get you. Do, 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 do. That was a little bit of an awkward shot because, uh, you know, it was the, the, uh, the turn and shoot. But, you know, it could have gone worse. All right. Now, here we are. My base is right over there. So what we'll do is we'll just quickly cross over the over here in daylight while we still have some uh, uh, while it's still warm that we're not going to like freeze to death in the water uh, because I think that is closer to being a, a possibility now than it used to be. There's Charlie of course and with them milling about and there's my base with probably giant holes in it. All right, let's just let's just head on over. Do -do 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 -do. Nice. Oh, okay. 17 sinew on one trip. Ah, oh, that's so awesome. It's sinewrific. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> terrible, terrible joke. And of course, on the far side, what we need to do is make sure that there's no wolves or bears or anything too close to the water. We're not being followed, right? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Nothing too close to... Oh, that's a rogue. You see right there? Hang on. I thought it was a bear, but that's not a bear. That's a rogue. So we're going to have to cut up this way a little bit. In fact, I'm going to switch over to uh, you. And as long as we stay above water a little bit... Oh, there's a wolf too. Oh, look. There's, they're right over there. There's rogues. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is this potentially very bad. This is what I was afraid of by taking this route back because it's you get a lot more likelihood of running into rogues uh, uh, off the snow line <clears throat> and away from the fence. Although they're quite close to the fence there. Okay, let's get out of the water and just run. Come on. Let's go. Uh, I've got way too valuable of a cargo with me uh, to risk losing it to rogues but you see how quick that was getting back that wasn't too bad right i mean we're if we're and if we're super lucky we may even find a lock crate along here we didn't get very oh there's a bear over there but is there any lock crates over here no all right i'm gonna get back to my base just in case we get attacked uh no lock crates as far as i could see there's a regular crate up on the hill there yeah, let's head back. Look at that. Home sweet home. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> Hopefully there aren't gaping holes in it. <sighs> there probably is. That's what happens when you leave your base unattended for a while and you don't set your game to... Uh... Oh, I, I actually meant to bring, bring that up because I, I didn't talk about it. Um, one of the things I could do is I could set my game to uh, revenge only or something like that. Uh, while I'm uh, away from the base, but eh, you know, I mean, do I have any? No, I don't. So let's make a fuel brick. Uh, there you are. Let's make a couple, and then we'll put away materials. But the, the sinew is the most important thing, and then for we'll put in here the building materials next to that right there. But yeah, I could have set it to, uh, but I don't know. I didn't. Oh, this is what I was afraid of. Okay. Oh, I don't know if they're attacking me. I think that was just a ricochet. Let's put the meat away at least and uh, have a bit, maybe a bit of a tomato. There we go. Put in the, uh, whatchamacallit, and let's butcher you. I don't think you want to put raw, uh, full, the, the dead animals in here because I think they do go bad even in the fridge. Is My fridge is still on. I still have 900 power. That's really nice to see. Um, in fact, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get uh, some iron cooking now that I'm here. Okay. And let's put away uh, that and that and what, anything else that goes in here. All right. Your build uh, construction, uh, construction y organics. Oh, yeah. Before I forget, um, nice. We got matches. I'm going to put this in here. Uh, next to that. There we go. Anything else in here? We've got uh, a little bit more ash. That's kind of cool. And we've got another uh, fuel brick. That's awesome. And then the this is all basically stuff that goes in. Do I keep carrots in here? Oh, we need a bit of light. 
Yeah, that was a ricochet. And then we're going to have to do a... Unfortunately, in the dark, we're going to have to do a bit of an inspection of the base and see if anything went seriously and horribly wrong. And then uh, tomorrow, in the next episode, we're going to have to see what we can do with our uh, with all this sinew that we've got. Ah? Yeah. Okay, how's the base? Um. Wow. So they did do quite a bit of damage, uh, but no holes. I'm quite happy about that, but I am going to have to do a whole bunch of repairs. Oh, my God. That is very frustrating. Any holes up here? Oh, yeah. I forgot about you. <laughs> no holes up here, but... Oh, look at all the damage to my... Uh, how's the window? Even the window got damaged. Wow. See, that that's what... When you're, when you're not here to defend, they just pummel it with grenades and arrow grenades and... Oh, I don't have enough wood. Um... All right, so tomorrow is, yeah, tomorrow is build, uh, building, uh, basically, or sh I should say, repair and uh, and maybe maybe a bit of crafting, doing something with the uh, with the, the all this nice sinew that we got. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan for the next day. I think that's good. All right, now, how are we doing for power? Uh, 822, 821. Yeah, we're dropping like a rock because of the uh, what call it. So let's just give ourselves a little bit of a boost. Not too much. Um, there we go. I think we're in good shape. One last thing. Let's check the plants. Oh! I made onions and they're ready. Nice! Anything left in here? No! Oh, isn't that awesome? Ma let's make some more onions. Uh, five, six. Oh, wait a minute. How many do I have in here? Oh, I got four. Okay. Uh, there we go. That is so cool. Oh, man. Isn't that awesome? Ah, that makes me so happy. Okay, let's grab you and you and you. And maybe a bit of the ash. There we go. Uh, oh, we got fat in there. Let's just leave that for now. And we can put away the extra seeds. There we go. And wait a minute. Did I... Oh, I put them in there. Well, it wasn't that silly. Let's uh, get some water going in there. That's good enough. There we go. And then we'll refill the... Uh... No! Oh, my God. I just poisoned my... I accidentally hit F twice on a water bottle and poisoned myself. Uh... Now I need to make another antidote. That is terribly frustrating. Fortunately... I've got a couple of uh, you guys. Do I have any? I have you. And then I think we just need you. And then I can make uh, antidotes. Made a couple of them. Nice. And that's why you always want to have um, a whole bunch of kelp kicking around. Is because of that exact problem. But uh, in that case, it was just me being uh, kind of silly about my... Um, uh, double. I, I accidentally, I didn't move the mouse. I was going to do FF and I did FF. <laughs> All right. Now, got some onions. So that's kind of nice. Oh, did I put um, carrots in here? I did. Yeah, the carrots go in here. There we go. That. And now we have some uh, antidotes. All right. Well, there we go. So I think we're in good shape. Let's, um, you know what? Let's go up in the, uh, let's go upstairs and we'll do a quick survey before we sign out. Uh, we'll use our uh, thing. I haven't done any, of course, any work on the... Um, oh. Oh, I have to... Yeah, okay. I I didn't mean to put that there. Uh, basically, uh, that's that should be over there. Um, we'll have to... We have to... Yeah, I have to keep working on that. I, I put that in the wrong place. All right. Well, that's fine. Let's just... Out here. I wasn't done. Yeah, see, there you go. There's the uh, the rogues that we ran into on the way back, and I think there's actually even another rogue camp just down the down the beach. And then we've got Charlie over here. Oh, they've got they've got a second floor on their base. Look at that. They've got a second. Oh, they're starting. Oh, isn't that cool? Nice. And I did I just hear someone come over here and go fishing? No. Or maybe they've already come and gone. 
And of course, we can't really see our other, any of our other neighbors. So that's fine. All right. I think this is a good place to stop. Uh, yeah. I think this is... Yeah. We'll, do, we'll stop right here. Thank you very much, everyone. What a, what a fun day, actually, out uh, hunting for cougars. We did really well. Got tons of sinew. I'm really happy about that. Um, we managed to uh, take a slightly different route back, which was kind of exciting. We bumped into rogues and uh, came back to a base that's in sore need of repair. But we'll take care of that in a future episode. By the way, one of the things I need to do with sinew is to make a bit more power, uh, some more power supply stuff. So that's very important. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, you all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.